The Morpheus 8 3D is quite different than the Morpheus non 3D uh, and it's a little more effective at dermal remodeling. What's the difference then between the Morpheus 8 3D and non 3D? It is only on the body tip, number one. Number two, it is a software algorithm update, update upgrade to the Morpheus body. Remember the Morpheus body on burst and non burst, it releases sequential vertical coagulation of fat from level 7 to level 1. Think of the 3D as horizontal sequential release of that energy. And so in the burst and non-burst mode, when the reciprocating electrode penetrates into the fat, and all 40 are penetrating all at once, and they go down to whatever depth you've set. In the original version of the Morpheus 8 body, all those positive electrode tips released their energy and ablation occurred all at once. All 40. Remember that RF travels most efficiently through non-ablated tissue. And so some of that RF that was going to travel up to the negative electrodes on the skin and contribute to dermal remodeling got trapped in ablated tissue and couldn't flow because all those electrodes were exploding with coagulative energy at the same time. In the 3D, they don't all explode at the same time. They still go down to the same depth and then the innermost 12 release their energy first, then the middle 12, and then the outer 16. So every 100 microseconds, inner 12, middle 12, outer 16. So all 40 still release their energy. You still get the summit of coagulation ablation of those 40 microelectrodes, but the amount of non-ablative RF that escapes the injury and flows up to the negative electrodes on the surface of the skin is amplified and it gives a better non-ablative dermal remodeling and non-ablative bulk heating effect. That is the big advantage of the 3D. It doesn't increase the amount of ablation, it increases the efficiency of non-ablative dermal remodeling and bulk heating.